today I have specially chosen a song which is dedicated to this beautiful state and specially Jaisalmer. And this is a Marwadi song which is a local language which says that these beautiful sand dunes which shine like gold and the green berry called care which seem like embedded emeralds. I welcome the local musicians here with me. come together here for the ink in this beautiful land and now let's all have fun and enjoy ourselves these are two special lines for ink Thank you. And the second song that I want to sing is again dedicated to one of the greatest saint poetesses of India who belonged to this state, Mirabai. And Mirabai belonged to this small village called Mirta. So I'm singing this composition which has been written by her and I composed this many years back and I'm very, very inspired. Mm. 
Piyaji Piyaji Mare Mare Piyaji जो जी या जी मारे नैनागे रहे जो जी या जी मारे नैनागे रहे जो जी या जी मारे भूल मत जा जो जी पिया जी मारे नैनागे रह जो जी पिया जी मारे नैनागे रह जो जी राणा जी भेजा राणा जी भेजा राणा जी भेजा विष का प्याला राणा जी भेजा विष का प्याला सोए मरता पिया जी मारे सोए मरत कर दी जो जी पिया जी सोए मरत कर दी जो जी पिया जी मारे नैनागे रह जो जी पिया जी मारे नैनागे रह जो जी नैना आगे रह जो माने नैना आगे रह जो जी पिया जी मारे नैना आगे रह जो जी प्रभु मीरा के प्रभु मीरा के प्रभु मीरा के प्रभु गिरधर नागर मीरा के प्रभु गिरधर नागर गिरधर नागर गिरधर नागर मीरा के प्रभु गिरधर नागर हो मिल बिछड़न पिया जी मारे मिल बिछड़न मत की जो जी मिल बिछड़न मत की जो जी पिया जी मारे नैनागे रह जो जी पिया जी मारे नैनागे रह जो जी नैना
रहे जो जी Well, I've been asked to speak, and I said any time I can sing, you know. So between singing and speaking, I chose to sing first. So I've been supremely blessed to be born in a family of legendary musicians, having been cradled in their lap as a toddler. I was taught bandishes, compositions, cheese, tin tal. The first tal I learned was tilwara. you know it's kind of considered to be one of the difficult ones but as a kid i was really receptive and i loved music and then i was put in the um music was a part of our life i had two elder brothers and we learned together my father music comes in my family from my father's side and i'm the sixth generation of the musicians of the legendary pandit family of gwalior and i'm the first woman musician so my father used to teach us together the three of us and he used to teach he used to choose to teach us in b flat which is kali panch the scale for the female voice and i was the youngest and i think that's really really nice of him to do that you know so music and studies these were the two lives that i had but what i noticed is that there was a lot of disconnect that i faced between the life that i had at home and the life in school and also in college actually i was later in lady shriram college <laughs> and um, so there was a lot of disconnect you know it was difficult to explain what i went through in the last sessions of my learning with my father of the gurus the pandits who came home the our dining table had times of you know we spoke about rags and tals you know and my father said you're reasonably okay in studies so you should can you should do a conventional you know a stable job but i was like i this is what i wanted to do when i used to be like you know i have to be on the stage there there i want to sing perform no you have to study so that's why i was then in doing pursuing commerce and while i was a backbencher doodling away when the income tax classes would be there you know i would be doodling rags you know the images of eri ali pia ben and a new composition and which composition you know what embellishment next i can take all that would come in my mind and i said this is a great disconnect and you know what happened when i was in the third year of my college my eldest brother who was considered to be one of the brightest stars of hindustani classical music especially for gwalior he met with a fatal accident he died and then i was like i really have to do just music but then this wasn't happening so i was told to do my phd i also completed my net but i'm still unemployed you see i have happily traveled in about 26 countries i travel north to south east to west i love to meet people i love to experience different cultures cross cultural music that i just love to sing and connect with people whoever love music and even if they don't love music i somehow get the vibrations to do that so i um one thing that i really um visioned and which i'm so happy that i was able to do was to connect the bridges connect the gap you know between the people who think that classical music is beyond understanding so there's a wide gap between the audience and the artist so i tried to bridge it between to, to the help of the medium which is there today which is television which is radio that's why i was able to do a program called swarshringar which went went on for 2 years a connect between the artist and the audience and similarly also do some lovely archiving work for the government of india by indira gandhi national center for the arts so these are the things which i feel that this the the topic for ink within and beyond 
which I feel that can be from the past to the future, or it could be the tradition and the new insight, or rather deep exploration of your own culture and expanding it to the outside. And I've tried to utilize as much as today's technology we can use. For example, as we all know that in our Indian culture, we have a Guru Shishya Parampara through which we transmit the knowledge, the Guru transmits it through the uh, to the to the shishya to the student and today students people want to learn music but they don't have time even when they are in delhi they don't have time but i have requests from all over the globe to that they want to learn the gaiki they want to learn the nuances of vocal music so i use the technology to be able to connect this gap maybe through skype maybe through you know online lessons and I think today we have to see how to connect to the next generation and also have the new generation of people who love our culture, our heritage, and who can take it forward. I'm extremely grateful to be here and thank you so much. <laughs>